Hey everyone, Tyler here at The Movie Beat, back with another Korean movie review. I just got back from seeing the brand new Korean drama film, Joje, or uh, Josie, and uh, I just wanted to give you some thoughts on it, just my reaction, just right away after seeing it. Um, this one was directed by Kim jong Gwan, who I have not seen his previous films. I did see one of his short films that was in that Persona collection, though, and uh, based on that style, I would say that uh, he has really got a knack for uh, melodrama or just drama in general. Uh, this film, Joje, appears to have been based on the Japanese film Josie the Tiger and the Fish, which I also have not seen, and I decided not to check it out before watching this just to have the purest of experiences possible, and I do think it was the right choice. Um, if you have seen that film, uh, you will know that there are some significant, well, I'm assuming it's, it's similar, uh, there are some significant story elements in this one that you do not want to give away, and uh, it was a happy, uh, well, I, hard to say happy. This, fo this film is a very somber, uh, very dark tone uh, film throughout, but it was a happy surprise. I did not see that coming at all. So this one is about a very poor woman named Josie who lives with her grandmother. Uh, they basically live off other people's garbage, um, recycling, a very, very poor life. Uh, Josie is a very pretty girl, but she is clearly very troubled. She's had um, a sort of unknown past because the way that she describes things makes you sort of question uh, whether or not she's making certain things up. She does seem like she reads a lot, uh, especially books about traveling in the world. So she has some stories that don't necessarily add up per se, but when she meets this character named Young Suk, who actually helps her out one day after she falls off of her wheelchair. Youngsu goes out of his way to uh, carry her home, and the only way that Josie can repay him is by making a little meal. Um, and Youngsu sort of makes a habit out of helping Josie and her gr her grandmother by carrying some things to the house and you know giving some items that might help them out. But there's something about Josie that attracts Young Suk um, in a way that's a little bit unexplainable. Young Suk is basically your perfect man, um, very good looking, very capable, a really smart guy. Uh, he's sleeping with his university professor. He's sort of leading on uh, the very attractive classmate of his. It seems like he's sort of dating her as well at school. And suddenly he's taking an interest in this woman named Josie who really does not have a personality to speak of other than one that's very dark and seems like she likes making up stories. So that is basically the premise of this film. Uh, where their relationship goes uh, is actually very, very uh, surprising in a lot of ways. And it goes to places that sort of made me feel a little bit uncomfortable at first. And, you know, just because of the way that this character, Young Suk, played by Nam Ju Hyuk, is portrayed in the film. You know, if he is sort of like kind of a, just a playboy type of guy, uh, obviously he's into certain things like social work and, and whatnot. So he does have a kind heart. He is a very nice guy. But, you know, it's like, show me something about this character, Josie, that's going to make a guy like that. Uh, really try to work for her heart. Um, that part was a bit of a stretch, but um, like I said, I have not seen the original, and I'm so glad I did not see the original because this one goes to a place um, with its narrative that caught me off guard. Uh, it caught me by surprise in, in, a, in actually a really pleasant way, um, and it made me sort of re-examine my experience with the film once it was over uh, and it, it is one of those movies that you would want to revisit at least once because of its narrative um, and that's all I want to say about that but the photography in this film I think was perfect for the mood it is a very somber uh, sad dark tone uh, of a film because of the whole state of this being a very serious kind of melodrama taking place in the fall we've got the beautiful uh, autumn changing in the leaves we've got the beginning of winter setting in with a beautiful light snowfall the settings the the way that they show like street cats um some of the some of the quieter moments just stacks of books just, everything kind of looked like um, I was in Japan uh, for this film. So this movie does look very beautiful and it has a, a very, very good soundtrack. So it is very watchable, if not the, the 
the subject matter being pretty dark. You're not gonna come out of this movie with a uh, big smiles. It's gonna be one of those that kind of just hits you and you gotta sort of digest it. Acting is extremely strong. I definitely wanna see more of Nam Ji Hyuk in future films. I think he's definitely been more of a drama star up until now, but he really impressed me. And like I said, you gotta kind of re-examine this, uh, this film. Um, and I do think after watching it because of its narrative. And I do think he gives a performance that is worthy of the narrative uh, twists, might I say, uh, that do happen in this film. Han Ji Min is pretty consistent throughout. Um, she sort of has to be playing this dark, disconnected character for most of the film. Um, so it's it's kind of tough on that sense, but you know, she does the job pretty well. I'd never really seen her in a role like this. She was again like in Miss Beck a couple years back and she had a, a small part in Keys to the Heart. So this I think was a, a, a bigger part, I guess, could it be bigger than Miss Beck? Probably equal, but performance was, was kind of uh, steady and um, you know, she stuck to the role. So I think it was good overall, just, you know, not a likable character, um, but a very complicated character. So a very interesting character. And I do really like that about the movie. Um, very dramatic film overall. I did have a lot of uh, emotional parts, but it might be a bit too dark and a bit slow for a lot of people. So um, if you are willing to kind of just give it a chance of, um, you know, watching a film that just sort of stirs you and maybe in, maybe in a darker way, um, it is very strong in that sense. So I definitely think it's one of the stronger dramas we've seen all year. I think uh, fans of the actors, uh, especially Nam Ji Hyuk, you guys are going to be really, really happy with this film. Uh, Han Ji Min, you know, it's a, it's definitely a tough role, so it's definitely not like a very glamorous role by any means, but I think she does a job pretty well. So I'm going to rate this movie one a 7.5 out of 10. Probably going to go watch the uh, Japanese original if I can find it. Um, it definitely seems like a film that was worthy of remaking um, based on its narrative. I'm going to go out and I bet this one was based on a novel as well, just because of how I, I felt the story played out. Um, and it's one of those that I can understand why they might want to uh, remake it in a different setting um, or just kind of try it again because of that uh, narrative. Some some films, you don't really understand why they would remake it. You're just like, it's, it's done. It's like a unique vision. Leave it. Um, this one I can kind of understand it, so I'm not sure if it's worth watching the original now. I feel like, you know, it's probably going to be pretty similar. Um, I did not know why the original, I remember the original because the name was so unique, Josie the Tiger the Fish. This one is just Josie, um, and I was always wondering, like, what is the relationship between those three things? Uh, and that was a very interesting th thing to discover um, after uh, completing this film and sort of picking up along the way, you know, where some of those things came from and, and the original title. So let me know again, guys, uh, what you think of this one. I just wanted to give you my initial reaction because I just got back from the theater from seeing it. I also wanted to show you this awesome art card that I got from Lotte Cinema. This is the exclusive art card for Joje number 11. And the back has all of the awesome signatures uh, sort of a famous scene, I believe, from uh, the original as well. It was done really well here with the aquarium, kind of the silhouette of both the characters. You can see Josie in her wheelchair there. Um, and they're kind of helping her out. Let's see, what does this say? Joje Mani Sarang Hejuseo. So this means uh, please love our movie Josie a lot. Uh, and this one's signed Namju Hyuk can't read that from the director. I can read one. Very good handwriting there. Uh, again, Lotte Cinema. These are awesome little exclusive art cards that you get uh, for visiting the cinemas. So, you know, it's unfortunate that some people might be missing out on these. But again, I just kind of wanted to show it off here uh, just as kind of a cool feature for uh, fans of this film and those of you who are planning to check it out. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Uh, it really helps me out knowing what people are enjoying, not enjoying. And until next time, I'll be here at the Movie Beat. Keep watching movies.